What's up, internet and future self? My name's Zach. Um, doing a car blog on my first car build, I guess you could say, or restoration. Um, mainly because I'm bored and um, keep me motivated to keep it going when I'm really deep in and don't want to put any more money into my jalopy. So, here goes. A Civic Wago van. It's far from mint. You can just see everywhere you look. We got rust and things falling apart here. Oh, nothing matches. Yeah, that's a random brake pedal. This is obviously coming off. What does this do? This is, oh, we'll get to what this does later, but. It's well placed, I have to say, very flush, very well done uh, upgrades by previous owners. Um, yeah, that's a hole that's not meant to be there. We've got plaid interior, which is just special. We will just say it's special. Um, let's go around the car here. As you can see, I have started um, a little work before I decided to do this blog. Taking the hubcaps off the wheels, because they were hideous, just trust me. Um, and I've started some sand job. We'll get to that later. Let's just give it a little walk around here. Got some, some tree hugger on this once before, I think, here. Where does your food come from? Um, this doesn't line up at all, which is just uh, encouraging. Um, got rust at every panel, which is at least consistent. Um, although it does seem like they tr previous owners did try to cover it with some primer, which is why this whole fender is not rusted. The doors seem in pretty good shape, I must say. Um, got little dents and dings everywhere, but nothing of huge concern. Uh, missing the molding here. That is less than ideal. Um, so, did you remember that switch that was so nicely placed? Yeah, it does turn this amazing downgrade. We gotta say, you can't call it an upgrade. Gotta call that a downgrade. And he obviously used the craftsmanship to put it onto the bumper that he did to, for the switch, which is just rip a hole, who cares what it looks like. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, obviously, she doesn't start. Um, does run though, if you jump it, but then it'll die out pretty shortly after. So it's probably an alternator issue. Who knows though. Um, but yeah. Bought for this process. Number one is the owner's manual. The service manual, not the owner's manual. That is um, basically a little book that shows you pretty much how to build the car. So that should be very useful. Um, I had a jack, which is important. I also own one of these from an earlier little paint job fix I did. Um, that's about it, other than some basic tools. I'm gonna try to do this. Alright, job one is body work. Um, before I'm gonna get it running, I do want to get the rust off and uh, sand it all down and put some pour 15 on it, uh, which is like a tar type of stuff if you've never heard of it. But uh, it just covers up rust, keeps it from coming back. Um, it's not great um, for parts that are visible, but for under the car, which is where I'm at right now, it's pretty good. Um, Alright. 
For sanding, I would recommend sandpaper. So first job, since it's the only job I have the tools for at the moment, is I'm trying to get rid of some of the rust. Started sanding away at the bottom after I took the side skirt off. Found that they tried to cover this hole with a bunch of foam. Oh, we got a nice big hole there. And seems to be another foam filled hole right there. So that'll be fun. That's where I'm at now. I'm gonna cover it with poor 15 when I finish up today. So So yeah. Hope you stay tuned. Um and once again I'm I'm doing this more for myself, um, but if people watch, great. But um, it's kind of to answer the question, is it worth it to try and learn how to fix a car without any teaching or schooling? Um, we'll find out. I know there's going to be some headaches, but I want to learn about cars, and I have the time to do it in between my full-time job.